I want this team to be remembered as the ones who, who left a legacy. I want them to earn everything they get, and I want them to earn respect. We, we can be liked, and we can be remembered. But there's nothing more important to me to a man than being respected. I want people when they see when they see this, I want them to respect it. They respect what that that N on that white helmet, what that red stripe means. We're gonna fight to earn the respect of, of everyone who knows what Nebraska football stands for. Bro. West Side's weird. That's Brand. why it starts with a W. Weird. Oh, that was a good one. All right, all right. We beat we y'all. We beat y'all. Everything's better in Texas. Dang. Hey. Right, Corey, get me enough. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Try it again. Big goal. Try it again. I think at the end of the day, um, we, we do what we do for the team. And so how better to build the brotherhood of the team than to live together, you know, to, to share rooms, to share space, to play cards, to hang out. I think it's awesome. Bro, he just be saying like the most random stuff. Come on, Jamie, you on the floor all day. Just a chance for us all to come together under one roof like a family and go through this hard two-week cycle together. I think it's really cool that it's on campus because you know we're playing for the University of Nebraska. And so let's return the entire team back to campus and, and just have this symbolic, uh, emotional bonding that happens that says, hey, we're back here and we're back here for each other and we're back here for the University of Nebraska. Well, it's cool. You know, I got the magic key, so we're good. Crazy. I see how I see how he rolls. We should storm his room. Oh, you put them all together once you finish it up, man. Put them all in there. Make sure you put the car back in there, too. Don't not put it in there. <laughs> or I'm not going to be able to find it. Ah, right, here we go. Huh? No. No. They ain't put it back in there, did they? <laughs> <laughs> so you trying to tell me that's not your car? That ain't your car. But that one is. Oh, wait! <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> wait. All right, all right. Now you gotta teach it. No, that was a good one. That was a good one. How you do that though? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's the word. You're pretty good. Good guesser. Alright. See how your rest. See how your rest is like. Where's the rest of the shit? Yeah. Oh, spit some. That's not even close. It's rigged. You're not a magician. Uh, Episode two. We in. You can look around. We in. Living good. You feel me? Nice beds. Nice TVs. Just chilling with the bros. Bro, <laughs> it's working, but I don't. Yeah. It's just the beds. Man, <laughs> this is the beds. I'm talking about doing. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's the beds. Any like. He brought his TV to Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Take your top card off of that one. Don't show it to me. Put them all together. Put them all in there. No, 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 no. I don't like doing black cards. Give me an extra nine or something like that. I don't want to give you extra nine of spades. Let me try another card. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, we all like that. No! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh no! Oh no! Oh bro! What? You alright, man? No, I can do that. I can do that. Yo! Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh yeah. Pick that part up first. This one? Yeah. Is that your card? No. Put that one over. Put that one over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Day seven, we out here, another day of work. Week number two of fall camp is underway. The full pads are on. I'm Jessica Cootie with the Huskers Radio Network, joined by Omar Hales, the director of player personnel here with Nebraska football. How does the intensity change when those full pads come on? I mean, it's been awesome. These guys are really tough and uh, they get after it and um, they haven't flinched. They've continued to fight, come out and attack each day. And so Coach Will talks about it all the time. Um, they're, they're very bought into that in our process and everything that we're trying to do and accomplish here. Great, round second base at the top, good. But it's as early. So out of the Make it the second, man! Make it the second! Let's go! Alright, be smart! Play together! Play together! Here we go! Kill on three! One, two, three! Kill! All starts out front with the offensive line, and we've heard all throughout the summer they travel as a pack. They're very close. They are a brotherhood. There's a lot of guys that have played a lot of football and a lot of football together. But how have you seen that group lead throughout fall camp so far? Yeah, it all starts with the coach, Coach Diamond and Raiola. Been phenomenal uh, in leading those guys, and Coach Eric Coleman has done a great job. You know, like you said, they do everything together from eating to taking the field. They love each other, and it shows on the football field, and they embrace the grind. Play high! Go! Go! Take me, take me, take me! Stay with it, stay with it, up again! Go, go! Take me, take me, I'm not locked in, so it's bad by me. Try and pray for me. Go! Come on! Dang! Yeah! Come on! That looks you real painful. Move. You gotta move! Bet you don't piss my first time here in Lincoln. It's beautiful. Uh, it's lived up to the billing. Obviously walked around the stadium and saw the facility. Can't even imagine 90,000 plus. One of the best fan bases in the country. So for this place to be jam packed, I cannot wait for the Matt Rule era. Because listen, he's gonna hit you. The team is gonna make sure you gotta earn every single yard against his defenses and his offense is just pound. That's the identity of Matt Rule and his system, and honestly, I, I think everybody at Nebraska is going to have a lot of fun to see this team believe in themselves and grow over the next couple of years. It's hard. It's hard. So this shit's supposed to be hard. So stop looking, look, look, why is it so hard? It's supposed to be hard. You cannot go out there today and go 70, 80, or 90% of what you have. Everybody's a little bit banged up. I get it. No, no one here is 100% right now. I get it. But I need 100% of what you got. I need 100% of what you got. I don't care how much you have. I want 100% of it. Because if we don't do that, you will not start the way you want to start. You will not start the way you want to start. 
So make no mistake, freaking 15 practices, 12 less than training camp. Don't walk off this field freaking, we didn't get it done. Sure. Don't do that. You're stacking day after day after day, bro. Your why will win. Anybody can do it some days. Can you do it day after day after day? We all on the same page? Yes, sir. We're, we're not going to have the white in here. We're going to start out there, guys. Ones, twos, and threes, all in team compete. This is a grind. Mm -hmm. Like my man Shirts, he said when he came in to August, we got to control the grind. How much of what you have are you going to give us today? If it ain't 100%, then are you part of the brotherhood? Yes, sir. Coaches, are you part of the brotherhood? Are you going to run out of energy today, or are you just going to go through the motions? 831 comes fast. 831 comes fast. 831 comes fast. We'll take the field pride. You got to earn it, though. All right, and Isaiah Garcia Castaneda, IGC, as we like to call him, uh, a guy that burst out onto the scene, but then again had some some struggles last year, walked away from football, and another guy that I, I spoke to, and he talked about the perspective that he was able to gain. Isaiah, you know, if you get around him, very soft-spoken, you know, can kind of blend in a little bit. Um, and then seriously, there was this one day, he's got a Monday night class, and so I was in the office, uh, a little later at night, and I, I knew that he got out of class around 8.30 or 9. Well, I hadn't had dinner yet, so I texted him and said, hey, let's go to dinner. And I found out his story of going JUCO, then going to New Mexico State, then entering the portal and going to Nebraska. You know, I, I just fell in love with him, fell in love with his demeanor, you know, and he's a guy that prepares his tail off, and I will always go to war with someone that's prepared, tough, you know, and, and kind of has that RDV mindset that we have right now. Fortunately, I was able to get in contact with Coach Sat and uh, Coach Rule, and I was able to talk to Coach Sat, just me and him in his office, and kind of explain to him my situation, and heard back from him probably a week or two later, and he basically let me know, like, they're going to give me another shot and give me an opportunity to come back on the team, and so neither of them owed me anything, you know. Coming in, wanted to make sure I put my head down and just went to work and showed them what type of person I was, like, what type of man I am. And he's about to graduate, get his degree. He's another one of those guys that seems like once he came back to the football team, he wanted to do everything right to earn his spot back on this football team. 2023 graduate. <laughs> Bachelors. <laughs> you know, the, the chain of events was yesterday, you know, I kind of got after him and I called him out, called him out in front of everybody. You don't worry about going whatever just happened. I'll just over the shoulder, let's go. It really comes down to the detail. Everybody's dog ass time. Listen to him, y'all. Family on three, family on me. One, two, three. Family. 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 And I was like, hey, I believe in you. Ball's coming your way. Hey, you're in. I got faith in you. Let's go make some play. I believe in you, bro. Let's go, 82. Sure enough, Jeff made a great throw. Coach Sat made a great call. And, uh, you know, he just did his job and did it at a high level. Talent took over. Come on! Come on! Let's sit up, boys. Good ball. I told you I got you. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's catch football with your hands.
As an assistant coach, as the offensive coordinator at Temple, I was part of starting that tradition. And then as the head coach, both of there at Temple and Baylor, uh, I did the single digits. And I think the mindset is, you know, I got really tired in recruiting of giving the number one out to our top recruit while I had this guy that's been in the program for three years uh, that really wanted to be number one. So we wanted to do something that was symbolic of, hey, who are the nine guys who best embody what it means to be a Cornhusker? Uh, the, the toughest, the hardest working, the most dependable, uh, the most disciplined, the most relentless. And I think our team has to define that. You know, I, I don't pick the single digits. Our guys will vote for the guys that they want to represent them. And I think what's cool is after two, three, four, five years, you look back, um, there's sort of a lineage. Maybe I started, maybe I didn't, but I was a guy that my teammates said, hey, you know what, that's what it means to be a, a man of Nebraska football. Defense 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Bat Husker Nation, Ethan Nation here. Joey, see what I did there? I'm pretty sure I'm going to bust me here. Who we here with, man? Who we here with? Vincent Carol Jackson, I'll do it for you. Who we got here? Who we got here? How y'all doing? <laughs> no, it don't look funny. You can't lie. You can't lie. You can't lie. I ain't gonna lie, as I'm getting closer and closer and closer, I am getting scared. Knees weak. That drop was oh, that. I don't know, whatever Eminem said. Oh my. Oh! Oh my god, bro. Oh! Oh my god. god that was so goddamn scary. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> bro! My heart sank bro. right into my butt, bro. We got the people in the Lazy River, man. What y'all gotta say, man? How y'all feeling, bro? <laughs> bro, he's saying goodbye. He's tripping. Oh! Here we go. Did I beat you, Leslie? I think I won. Look at he's scared. 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 Alright. Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. Who won? Oh! Oh! Me and Let's go. Wait! Oh. <laughs> Are you Yeah, hey, he tried to tell us, he tried to tell us he went down the single drop shot. He did not, he did not. I don't know what he did. He snuck up there and snuck back down, bro, but he with us now, so he can't, he can't run away. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh. Hey, bro, you good? You good? God, my eyes burn, bro. Oh. We lit. Thanks for coming out today, guys. We appreciate it. Hope you guys had fun. Good luck on the football field. Go Big Red! Another one of the big storylines over the summer was a couple of scholarships that were handed out to walk-on guys and Nebraska kids. First of all, let's start there. How important is the state of Nebraska and getting those kids that are from the state that want to wear this uniform? Well, you know, when we talked about it early on, these kids in Nebraska, they love Nebraska. They love that. And there's something different about those guys, right? They, they, they play with the chip. They play with grit. They're tough. Um, they, they honor those who came before them. And the walk-on program here is very serious. It's highly competitive, and uh, but it, it kind of makes our program what, what we are and uh, what we're all about. Yeah, the walk-on program just a huge part of what Nebraska football has done throughout its history and tradition. Started by Tom Osborne, but you know when you talk about handing out a scholarship and then to those Nebraska kids who grew up watching this this program, believe that they can come play and wear the N and want to wear the N, and then to be rewarded for that, like a couple of guys like Nate Borkacher and John Bullock. I've always been a Husker fan growing up, so I've been a ride or die with them. Um, 
I never knew it was possible until really maybe my junior year in high school. Um, I thought I had a chance to go play at the next level. Nebraska was always a dream of mine to play. I mean, I always thought in my head, no matter who offers me, if Nebraska offers me, that's where I truly want to go. Um, yeah, I grew up in Aurora, Nebraska, a uh, small town. Spent my life playing backyard football with my brother. Um, it's something we always dreamed of. We like, grew up going to all the games, um, watched them all on TV. Um, so this is a great experience for me. Let's talk specifically about both of them, starting with uh, Nate Borkacher, who's, again, played a lot of football here. And Coach Rule has said that from the start, that he's uh, someone that this offense is going to be to able to rely on in, in multiple ways, and he's been a leader. And so um, I guess in that regard, just beyond walk on, but what he's been able to provide to this offense, what has his coaching staff seen in him? Well, he's athletic, right? He can play in line, he can play off the ball. He's contributed in special teams. He's tough, he's a blocker, right? He can catch, he has good hands, he's a good route runner. You know, you couldn't tell me that he was a walk-on um, in this program if I didn't know. Um, and so the way he worked this off season was, for, you know, off the charts. He is uh, a tough and he's competitive and he's extremely athletic. And he, he plays with a chip on his shoulder, but every day when you see him, he comes in the, to work with a smile on his face and He's a great teammate, and his teammates love him, and he's just a phenomenal person. And John Bullock is a guy that's been a staple on special teams for two or three seasons now, and he's he is uh, not taking that role lightly. He's whatever I can do to help a football team win. He's not a rah-rah guy. He doesn't like to talk about himself when you talk to him. He just, hey, I'm just here to help the football team win. I know Coach Rule's got to love a kind of attitude like that, that I don't care what kind of job it is. I just want to do the job to help the football team win. I call, it, I call John Bullock a junkyard dog. And uh, he's a whatever you need type of guy. And again, he will run down on special teams, you know, go play uh, snaps on defense. And he's gritty, right? He's not the biggest guy, but he works his tail off and he's tough, he's instinctive. And then he's a guy that you can count on. He's the same guy every day. Um, no, no matter how many reps he takes, um, he's just a grinder, he's a worker, and he's a great teammate. I think it made me not take anything for granted and just work my ass off. and. He blessed me with a scholarship because of how I worked, and I've been working up to that point my whole career here ever since I got here. So I was completely shocked um, and excited, a whole flood of emotions. And then all my brothers and all my teammates were there just to, you know, dap me up and, and um, say congrats, and, and that was amazing. And the first thing I did was go to the locker room and tell my parents and my family. Hey, let's have a day, man. Let's compete and let's have good energy. Hey, let's go, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Freaking lowering his pass, trying to cut back and get another yard, not running out of bounds. That's winning football. Everybody remember the same thing? Yes, sir. Everybody saw it. We talked with our pads. Yes, on offense and on defense. Both sides, iron sharpens iron. You guys are up by six. They need a touchdown. Everybody on the same page? 115 left, minus 35 yard line. You each have a timeout. So, minus 35 yard line, 115. They need a touchdown. On the same page? Tell you guys. Yo, yo. Hey, we up by six. Ball on the 35, we got 115, one timeout, we need a touchdown. We got to get a stop. Let's make it happen, y'all boys. Come on, sir. Come on. Hey, let's go. Rep, boys. Hey, kill on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Come on, you're the end. Tell them. Tell them in there. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Please give me your eyes. I'll be 30 seconds. Hey, I want to say one thing to you. Listen to me. When we go to play on 831, that shit is hard. This is our first game, and it's going to be hard. Yes? yes so there should be a point in the game where we're going to fumble like we did early. There should be a point in the game where we give up a big play. Instead of yelling and screaming, everybody just remember, greatness happens when? At the end. At the end. Knocking out four. Not only do you knock out four, you're making them all already under 20. Then they ran the last all, all basically under 18 or 19. And you guys did what you guys did it, and then you guys did what you guys did. It's never a punishment, it's always a challenge. It's never a punishment, it's always a challenge. Not many people work like you guys. I hope you respect even your staff. Everybody ran tonight except for me. Everybody ran tonight except for me, and I'm gonna run mine now right now. Hey, Corey, we're gonna run ours right now, I promise you guys. Hey, but just remember, when it gets hard and it looks ugly, at the beginning of the game, nothing happens at the beginning. Nothing even really happens in the middle. Greatness happens at the end. And not many people can do what you guys just did. Break it down, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9. Come on, man. Hey, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Come on. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up, clap it up. Let's 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 hey, where the ground, y'all? Where the ground? Hey, hey that's how you come out here. And that's how you dominate yeah, this yeah. shit. Hey, one bet on me, one bet on three, one, two, three. One bet.